This is Matt Roush, Technology Editor at WWJ News Radio 950. I'm here today uh, with Rob Messina, Vice President of Defense Engineering at Oshkosh Defense. Oshkosh is today demonstrating <clears throat> a new light military vehicle or a, or a prototype for a new light military vehicle. Rob, why don't you tell me a little bit about what the advantages of this vehicle are? Thanks, Matt. Um, we have three <coughs> technologies that we have on this vehicle that we're demonstrating. The first one, we have a lightweight, advanced, off-road independent suspension. It's called the Next Generation TAC-4. Mm -hmm. um, TAC-4 is our fully independent suspension. It's across a wide variety of military vehicles. Uh, it has about 16 inches of wheel travel. In this particular vehicle, though, we have 20 inches of wheel travel. So we can go to lower spring rates with um, longer travel means we can go much faster off-road than our other vehicles. Okay. Second key technology we have is our survivability solution. So what we have is a modular capsule. It's ballistically and blast protected. It's kittable, so we can bolt different sets of components on, uh -huh. on or off the vehicle based on the threat that the warfighter is trying to defeat at any given time. The third key technology we're demonstrating with this vehicle is Propulse, or our diesel electric system. This particular vehicle has a very high power density PM generator. That PM generator is driven by a 6.6 .6 liter diesel engine. We take the electrical power generated by that uh, the generator set and power a couple of electric motors which drive a conventional T-case and set of axles. Okay, so this is technically an electric drive vehicle but you're using a, a diesel motor to generate the electricity, right? We use the diesel engine to, to drive the generator and generate the electricity. Yeah. Okay, and this, what does that do for you in terms of performance? So there's a couple key things that that does. The, one of the primary ones is it improves the survivability of this particular vehicle. And it does that because with the small generator and the diesel um, or the um, electric drives, we can keep all these heavy mechanical components out from underneath the occupant space of the capsule. The second thing it does, it allows us to carry a high, um, high amount of onboard power or exportable power, either stationary or on the move which could be used to power any number of things that uh, historically a generator APU would have to power. Okay, so otherwise you'd have to tow a, a generator. This way you've got your generator right on board with you. That's right. Okay, for radios, electronics, anything you might want to power in the battlefield, in yep. the battle space. All right, and, and this vehicle also raced in the uh, this year's Baja California race. Tell me yep. a little bit about that. So that was a great event for Oshkosh. Um, we took this vehicle and a couple sister vehicles to it. It was our first prototype of this demonstrator. In about a four month period, we took it from the, some testing in the desert all the way down to the, the world's toughest off-road race, the Baja 1000. We finished that race in about 51 hours. So it was a and, great And event. a lot of vehicles don't finish that race, right? Right. I mean, about 60% of the vehicles finished the race. Yeah. So it was great for Oshkosh. It helped us advance or accelerate <coughs> technology development for the key technologies we talked about. All right, one last thing. Uh, you're a, you're a originally a Michigan guy. I wanted to give you a chance to plug your uh, your alma maters, both in Michigan. So you, you got your undergrad where? At Michigan Tech, great okay. university, graduated in 93. Okay. And then I graduated in 95 from Oakland, Oakland okay. University there in Rochester. All right, mechanical engineering at both places? Yep. All right. And you've been with uh, with Oshkosh how long now? About two and a half years. Okay. How long have you been working on this project? Uh, we've been on this project for about five years at different stages, but this particular vehicle about one year. Okay. One and a half years. So what's the future of this vehicle? What are you attempting to, uh, to do with it? Um, the key thing we're trying to do is those three technologies we mentioned. Those will be good platforms for uh, the light vehicle market and we could insert any of those technologies onto light platforms. Okay. All right, thank you very much. Rob Messina, Vice President, Defense Engineering at Oshkosh Defense in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. This is Matt Rausch, Tech Editor, WWJ News Radio 950.